Welcome to our presentation describing the advantages of biometrics. This is Jeff Gill presenting. This is our final presentation in a series of mini presentations. If you want to learn more about the nuts and bolts of biometrics and how our neural link system works, please view our previous presentations. In this presentation, we look to the future and describe why we think biometrics will become the dominant technology for neuromarketing. This claim is pretty bold given the number of technologies out there to measure non-conscious processing. Eye tracking can tell you exactly where people are looking and even measure involuntary saccadic movements. There are three major methods of capturing people's expressions, manual coding, which is incredibly labor intensive, facial EMG, which is arguably the most accurate, but involves attaching electrodes to people's faces and automated facial action coding software as pictured here. Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, or fMRI, is the gold standard for measuring activity deep within the brain, but it clearly has some issues with scaling. EEG is one of the most popular methods. It measures the electrical signals generated by brain activity and responds very quickly. There have been definite progress in making these systems less invasive, but the signals are quite weak, less than one thousandth as large as a GSR signal. As a result, most companies continue to use wet electrode systems. Implicit association testing probes non-conscious connections in the brain through priming and or the length of time to answer questions. It has the advantage that it can be done online, but it does require large samples and have to have people answer questions. Finally, voice analysis can sense people's mental state when they speak. All of these technologies can be very useful and all have or will find a valuable place in neuromarketing. So how can we claim that biometrics will become the dominant technology? Biometrics has some valuable characteristics that make it uniquely scalable and effective. It is relatively easy to understand. GSR in particular measures arousal, a very important construct in a very straightforward way. Higher GSR makes more means more arousal. Even heart rate is easy to understand compared with other metrics like EEG or fMRI. It is valid and reliable. You can get meaningful information on samples as low as one person. To put this in perspective, lie detector tests, which primarily use heart rate and GSR, are 85 to 90% accurate on people who are actively trying to deceive them. Because you can interpret a single person's response, you can also drill down and understand subsegments when you have a large sample just as you would with surveys. This advantage may be a little specific to Shimmer, but we have designed our neural link system to be easy to layer into existing research. As a result, the cost is dramatically lower than most neuromarketing research. While all neuromarketing technologies are passive at one level, most require the participant to do something. Eye tracking and facial action coding require people to look at a camera. EEG requires people to put on an EEG device and not move. Voice analysis requires respondents to speak. Implicit association testing requires people to answer questions. Once you put on a simple biometric device, it is completely passive. What's more, biometrics can be used as people live their lives in the real world. Let's explore this a little bit more. In a two-month period, our Neuralink system was used in an incredible variety of situations, including monitoring people while they watched the World Cup, ate and drank beer and soda. They visited a museum and went through an exhibit, cleaned a kitchen and, with two different products, watched a presidential debate, walked down the street and looked at outdoor advertising, had a pajama party, and tested potato chips. In all these cases, our customer was able to get great insights from people who were doing normal activities without any interference from the system. But it's not just us. Millions of people are wearing biometric sensors all day, every day. No other neuromarketing technology comes even close. Most of the consumer wearables come from companies with roots in electronics or software. Market research may not be on their radar screen yet. That will change at some point. When it does, we believe that marketing research will be transformed. In the meantime, traditional research firms still have the opportunity to leverage their knowledge of research to participate in this transformation. We believe that the first step 
is to incorporate biometrics into your standard practice and to understand its capabilities and how best it is, it is employed. Once you understand what you need, then you can figure out how to get it. We have no doubt this transformation is coming. It's just a question of how soon and who will reap the benefit. We hope you found this presentation and all of the presentations in our series useful and interesting. As always, you may contact Shimmer, info at shimmersensing.com for more information.